afternoon. I'm Debbie Broughton from St. Robert, Missouri, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you a few things, actually not a few things, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of one of the sets from the new mini catalog and one free item from the celebration. I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but this is the January to June mini catalog. And it just has so many exciting things in there. You're going to have to check it out. And then tomorrow starts, starts our celebration, which will run from January 4th to February 28th of 2022. So for... There are some items in here that if you spend 50, you get for free. There's other ones. If you spend $100, you get them for free. So they will all go live. Both catalogs will go live tomorrow. So I'm here today to show you Daffodil Dreams and the matching dies that come in a bundle. And they are on page 37 of the catalog. Let me just check to be sure. Sometimes when I don't write things down, I have to check. Yes, page 37. It's called the Daffodil Daydream Bundle. So, this is a great stamp set. It has Happy Mother's Day, Easter Blessings as its words, but you could use it for any occasion. And then it has these daffodil dies that match. There's 24 dies and I've used every one but one on the cards that I'm going to show you just to show you what they look like. So first I'm going to go over how these are going to make 3D tulips. So let me show you. I saw this on somebody else's uh, website, another demonstrator's website, and I thought it looked a great way to explain things to you. So I reinvented it. So... Here we go. I did not glue down my dies because I didn't want to have to get the tape off the back of them. So let me rearrange them here just a little bit. Everything kind of stayed where it should have. So. You get, these dies are exactly the same, so that you can make two at a time, and so are these. This is another flower, and another layer. These are the layers. Here's the centers. You get two that are exactly the same, and you get two of the layers that are same. That way you can make two flowers at once. Hi, Denise. I'm so glad that you could join me this afternoon. And then this one down here is another part of the flower. This would be the main part. This would be the layer. And this is if you wanted to make a bud. I'm going to post this uh, picture in a post so that you can remember it. So I'm going to tell you that here's my little cheat thing. Line one, line two, and line four make a flower. Wait, I've lost my laptop now. Let me try to get you back just so I can see if somebody else is. Somehow it just disappeared completely. I might have hit something when I was getting the sheet. Okay, so line one, line two, and line four. Line one, line two, line four make a flower. And then line three, five, and six make a flower. And number seven is the bud. So I know that might sound a little complicated still, so I have another sheet to show you. I just want to be sure that I'm still I'm still going. Okay, so let me show you the next sheet. And, and I will post all this in a post so that you can see it. So now I have everything cut out there. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you layer them. This is line one, 
line two and line four with the layers attached. This is line three, line five, line six with the layers attached and this is the bud. So the bud is finished because that's all you have to do. So now I'm going to show you a card where I took all these pieces and put them together to make the flowers. So here we go. This is the flower that is line three, four, three, five, and six. This is the flower that's one, two, and four. So see, I just glued these two together, put this one in the middle, glued this behind this one, and put in the middle. Now here's the butterfly, so let me show you the dies for the butterfly. This is the outline. This would be the pool party piece. This is the Bermuda Bay piece. And this is the basic black piece to make the little body. So those three make the butterfly. The And here comes the stems. You get two stems, exactly the same, except for facing the opposite way. Can you tell what I mean? This flower goes that way, this one goes this way but you can make two stems at a time. And then the leaves are so cute. Here's the leaves. Here's one leaf. And here's the second leaf. So, this card used all the dies to make the two flowers and the bud. Then you used the dies to make the butterfly. And then the stem dies and the leaf dies. And I used the Happy Mother's Day, and I used this punch for the Happy Mother's Day. On the inside, I put a little butterfly. So, I hope that this helps you to see how to use all the different dies. There's two more dies that I'm going to show you on a different card. But these all made this one card. I think it would be great because you can always make two flowers at a time. And I kind of used colors that very were very contrasting so that you could see them clearly. You might really want to make your daffodil be white with yellow layers or light or daffodil delight instead of crushed curry. I just wanted to be sure that you could see the different layers. Again, I've lost my lead. Okay, it's back. So let me set these aside here so that I have to be very careful not to lose this little body for the butterfly. It's very hard to find when you misplace it. Okay, so now there's two other dies in this set that I'm going to show you. But first, I'm going to show you the free DSP that you get from Celebration when you spend $50. I might have showed you this in my other sneak peek video. I don't remember, so I'm going to show it again. Here's this one sheet. It would be a 12 by 12, but I used it to make a card. So, it's, so this makes a great background all by itself. And then this side is Pale Papaya is the background. And then we have the pink lines. Let me read you the colors that are in there. So we have basic black, crushed curry, daffodil delight, evening evergreen, flirty flamingo. So the pink was flirty flamingo, mint macaroon, misty moonlight, pale papaya, pear pizzazz, and berry vanilla. So it has a lot of different colors in it. You can kind of tell that by all the flowers. So here's like a flower garden, of, which makes a great background also. And then the back is a light plaid. 
Here's one with all the greens. And then it has these little pale papaya flowers, which that's the one die I did not use when I was making cards. But it's the little flower. Not that it will cut out these, but you can add some little flowers to your card with this die. Kind of like they did here. Then we have this one that is daisies and daffodils. And let's see what the back of that one looks like. And here we have some crushed curry and daffodil delight. Just if you wanted a textured background. Here is one that's basic black and very vanilla, which will give you a neutral background. And this is again, crushed curry with, I wanna say very vanilla. And it's just got all the daffodils stamped on there, which would make a nice background too. Then we have this one, which is the basic black, very vanilla, pale papaya, flirty pink. And this is probably pear pizzazz and evening evergreen. This one takes in a lot of the colors. So now let me show you. So this is free when you spend $50, you get 12 by 12 sheets, two of each design. So I'm gonna move on now to some cards that I made. This card I made using the stamp set. I stamped both of these and then cut them out. Here's the last two dies from that set. This one would cut out this one. This one cuts out this one. And then I kind of layered them together to make a little birthday card or love and hugs card. And then this is the free DSP, just the pattern background so the flowers can stick out. So that's that one. And then there's this one where I used this design right here, over here on the edge. And then I just stamped with this one and I stamped in basic gray to make it be a little bit lighter on vanilla. And I cut it out with this one tied a little pair of pizzazz bow, and then I added these matte dots. These are classic matte dots, and they are in the heart and home suite. But they're very nice. You get some very vanilla, some basic gray, and some basic black little adhesive dots. So let's see. This is my final card, and I used, let me get it. This part of the DSP, I cut it so that the vanilla was at the top and I kind of just used the background as my card and just put a little thinking of you with all my heart and I stamped the butterfly here and cut it out with the butterfly form. I forgot, to, I tried to use all the stamps too. I forgot to say on this one, I used these dots that are here and I just, it kind of just gave a little texture so it wasn't so stark white or very vanilla. I just did some soft sea foam dots in the background. So I hope you all enjoy this. Hi, Anna. I just saw just now that you're watching. I'm so glad. But I will post all these things in a post so that you can go back and look at how to use the dyes to make the flowers. Because sometimes I know it's hard when you get dies and trying to figure out which die makes which piece and how they all go together. I hope you have a great rest of the afternoon and looking forward to tomorrow when we can order these things. Have a great afternoon. Bye.